Hey y'all, this is Sucky from the podcast Two BBCs. That's two broke black chicks. We're live every Friday from seven to eight PM talking about sex, being broke, and living in the city of Dallas. Be sure to tune in every Friday on Side B on the After Party Radio. See you at the party. What's the deal, y'all? We're back. What's Episode up? number nine. Nine. I feel like that. So what happened with the tenth one at the last year? At the last. The last week of the year? Uh, it looks like. Shit. All right. Well, okay. We're back with episode number nine. So we can go uh, live on time. But we're live now, y'all. What's we're up? We're live now. Take it or to, leave it. I know, right? So um, we're going to start off with how our day went, like we always do. First of all, I'm going to let y'all know who I am. Oh, yes. We're going to. Solo. Solo Dolo if you're nasty. Um, <laughs> And this is my co-host. Um, I'm Stucky. What's up? Okay, and, we good. And the one with the wine bottle is Tula, of course. Hey, y'all. I'm back again. We're, we're always in here with the streets. I'm sorry, y'all. I was watching us. <laughs> <laughs> we're just trying to get everything popping. Oh, oh my oh, God. Uh, Moya, what about this? Yeah, let me Thank use this wine bottle, fam, because... We're trying to, like, uh, show that we're live with our Facebook feed, so sorry, guys. But anyways, so, Solo, how was your week? I had a really good week. Um, let's see, what's today? Friday? Ooh, y'all, I finally made it to $2 Tuesday at uh, Fourth Quarter. Yes. I finally got my frozen Hennessy. I was so drunk. Shout out to George Capoy. Shout out to my nigga Rocky. They, uh... Rocky a hoe ass nigga, cause she should have told me that them drinks were so damn strong. Yeah, I them, heard that. The two dollar frozen uh Hennessy. It was lit though. I had um a really good night after I went um home with two lovely ladies. So that was cool. I didn't necessarily have a foursome, but let's just say with a lovely night. Another lovely and y'all, I don't, I am like, uh, I guess I'm a black girl with a stigma. I don't really like dark skin girls. Um, oh, but I don't. Co- yeah, I'm real colorist. It's light skin. Bright skin is the right skin. But this chocolate girl got my um, attention. So shout out to her. I had a really, Hi, Corgan. I had a really good week with that. Um, it was, it was, it was fun. I'm not going to go into it details because I can't today, but I'm going to let y'all know. <laughs> I have to get confirmation from her to see if she's comfortable with me putting us on. But, um, to say the least, it was like... Well, I'm going to start off with three, my week. Three chicks um, and a dick. For real? Yeah. Well, it was a horse on then. It was, no, it wasn't a uh, Four, three, 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 three awesome y'all if y'all want like famous niggas to like follow y'all back notice that you like pictures everybody complain about my hours i work from um 2 30 to 10 no i work from 2 to 10 30 so everybody always complain about like my hours and shit like that those are the best hours to me you get paid a little bit more in my job and then when you go home you just be up and, like, the people that be up on Instagram and the way you get noticed on Instagram, if you like pictures, like, at 2 a.m. or 3 a.m., needless to say, I was really, like, talking to people that was, like, Instagram famous, like, talking shit to them. Dorm, oh, I said dorm room. Dormtainment. Um, Rome, Rome from Dormtainment actually, like, uh, reached out to me because my friend actually posted him saying that he was fine. So I got in contact with him. I got in contact with another nigga that do a podcast. So I'm chopping it up with him. I'm just, like, reaching out to people and people is actually seeing Networking. me post. Like, I was like, this yes. is the prime time hour to really be seen, like, 2 a.m. to I gotta, 3 a.m. I got to argue with you on that. Because, only because... 
I am a social media junkie. And you know, well, if if you do follow me on Twitter or on Instagram, I get reposted in things like the shade. Well, I get like viral comments in the shade room. I get reposts from some semi-celebrities, A, B, C, D, mm-hmm. list celebrities, you know what I'm saying? And um, things like that. But what I've noticed is you just got to post when they post. Yeah, post when they post most definitely. I'm talking because, about sliding in DMs. Because, like, <laughs> money bag, y'all, he didn't repost me a few times. And I keep telling him he got one more time before I send this coochie to him through the mail. But when you post when they post, do they comment back to your comment or are you sliding in DMs? Usually they'll comment back to my comment. They'll repost what I say. Like, mm-hmm. I didn't got reposted by Tiana Taylor maybe like three or four times. And that has literally made my heart drop. Erica Mena has commented back to me and mm-hmm. said something to one of my comments. But um, I I just, I like the attention. Like, I don't I like have to be commented attention. back. I just want to chop it up with you on your DMs. And I don't, they don't even be posting. That's what the yeah. thing is. And I'll be like, wait, what? These niggas are up? Like, what yeah. the fuck? I guess it's like an artist creative thing. So I was like, uh, and I was, a whole bunch of followers actually sent me like videos of them having sex. And I love amateur porn. Like, I love amateur porn. If I actually know you Ooh. in the video, I love am- amateur porn. I, porn stars don't do it for me no more. Because those moans don't be really moans. I really need to know that that dick feel good. I really need to know if that pussy feel good. So, like, send me videos of y'all having I can't even watch, like, porn. a silent... Have you ever seen those, like, those amateur porns where, like, a nigga is just fucking a female and it be totally silent in the room? Yeah. I mean, like... I mean... I, if I can't even hear the skin-to-skin contact... I don't watch like, amateur porn on... Porn on Pornhub, I be like, people send me their people personal send you videos. videos. Okay, it, it, okay, it don't okay, be okay, silent. Okay. It real life be like live. It real life be like porn stars. Oh, I got a lot of videos so, of my friends and my phone. Exactly. So like, if y'all want to send me videos, I'm with Ooh, please, it. I'm a free please, bitch. Please, please, please. <laughs> I love news. <laughs> I love videos. That's what I'm talking about. I've been asking Tula for nudes for the longest, and she got a nice little group chat too that she be in, and they will not add me. That's okay. <laughs> Fuck all y'all bitches. Yeah, Wait, which one? Like I, got, I got three of them. If you know how to suck dick the real one good, with, girl, uh, I love it. And I swear, I will not repost the red, red red unless oh. you like into that. <laughs> I only repost like certain clips and stuff unless you're into it and you really won't know who I'm posting. Like, every, I'm really good about posting stuff and yeah. nobody knows who the fuck I'm posting. And it literally be the nigga that See, I just keep it, me, I be keeping it in the DM. I ain't gonna <laughs> repost it. I ain't gonna post about it because it's a lot of people that actually trust me. For some reason, with their news and with their pictures and stuff like that, I have so many niggas in my, I mean, full body, cheeks, booty spread type nudes type shit. Mm-hmm. So, I keep, yes, girl, I be asking I niggas to do like, some crazy uh, shit. I don't like nigga nudes. Uh, yeah, I love, nigga <laughs> nudes don't really do it. I like it when a nigga much. play with his dick. That's yeah. What I, I like when a nigga I like play nigga, with his I like nigga And the type of people who follow me, they don't care if I repost that mug. They really be like, who, what they say about it? Or uh, did somebody say something about my picture? They like get, get on. Or, like they actually like turns them on when I post their stuff on my uh, Instagram or like my, I can't even do it on Instagram. I do it on Snapchat. I'm live on Snapchat all day because Instagram is a little bit too um, I am on IG. PC. All the time, y'all. <laughs> I have started car karaoke and I fucking love it. Okay? <laughs> uh, so if anybody wants to donate and send me a, uh, what do you call those? Dash cam holder? That's oh, hold my yeah. Phone. I really need a uh, 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 iPad. No, what do you call them? iPod. I need an iPod and I need a dash cam holder because I want to be able to go live mm-hmm. and do my car karaoke and listen to music at the same time because my car karaoke's be lit. Yeah. And they be hating. I was thinking okay. about that too. Girl, and I was, me and um, Court, I mean, me and Solo. Solo. <laughs> we were, I was going to tell her that we should do a In That Cat challenge. Mm. It's off of an old school Paul Wall. This ain't no old school. It's off of a Paul Wall beat. And I think we should do that challenge. And I think that y'all should try to get that challenge. We're going to do our little freestyle. And yeah. then y'all should do y'all freestyle. To actually, it's Texas based, it's really Houston based. But we need to get that popping. And I'm really, I'm really thinking about, you know, uh, filming us doing that in that cat. I'm with it because uh, I get in that cat. <laughs> So, hey. So, I swear to God, like, I, I'm going to challenge, like, certain rapper friends that I have. And hopefully, y'all don't be lame and y'all actually try to, like, play along with the In That Cat video. If and I can get um, rid of the great to do the In That Cat video, I'll be sad. She is a local rapper from Atlanta. Mm-hmm. Young. She had to be, like, 
I think she just turned 20. Chocolate. When I say this girl be spitting some fire ass boys like she didn't live the harshest life ever, <laughs> that girl be on it. I'm already the great is a damn fool. When I go to Atlanta, I'm gonna have to link with her because she is cool with a lot of people I'm cool with. She's just a lot younger than me, so it's it's, it's gonna be a little hard. But I uh, I did the um, what's that what's that challenge that the the most recent little rap challenge? Yeah, the little on the dick challenge. Yes. I did it on the dick challenge. It's like the on the dick challenge, but it's like in that cat. So I want a let whole bunch tell, of let me let me tell let me tell it. y'all how long it took to do the for the dick challenge. Me and my girl was about, not my girlfriend, but me and my home girl was on the way back from Atlanta in the car. We had probably been on the road about three hours, and I was like, "Let's do uh for the dick challenge." <laughs> so from Atlanta to Dallas, well, now nah, we went to Little Rock. That was about a ten hour drive. It took us about 10 hours <laughs> to do that on the dick challenge and get come, it right. Come up with yeah. your arms. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no I, had to, I, had to, I had to redo it. I, I was yes. forgetting words, adding words, yes. all this type of shit. Oh, my God. And it, and it wasn't that Hold long. Be careful. I have, no, fuck that phone. George, no, I'm talking about the nigga read Leave camera. me <laughs> alone. Bro, I broke <laughs> up with you on my birthday. <laughs> Leave me alone, fam. George who? Say last name. My ex-boyfriend. My uh, nigga like, God damn. Like, I tried to be nice with the breakup. I tried to do it the right way. George. <clears throat> homie. It's over. Leave me alone, dog. I can't do this shit no more. You're stalking me at this point. Look at Megan's face. Like, Megan for face. real. Like, I don't do niggas like that, bro. I don't put niggas on blast. But when you get on that aggressive... Call me back. You got to text me. I miss you. You didn't put that much effort in when we was together. So leave me where the fuck I'm at. If y'all, if y'all know George, <laughs> tell that nigga get off my phone so I hurt his feelings. What you going to say to hurt his feelings? A lot of shit. Look, I'm messy. <laughs> A lot of shit. I'm, I'm trying to, I'm trying to you know, keep it right. But I, I'll say some shit to hurt the nigga feelings. Just please. Give me my space until I'm ready to go back on that. Be cool with you again, cause right now I'm I'm enjoying my best whole life, as you can see. Yeah, titties out. My hey. hoes know when to give me that my space when I don't be for it. But like back to what you were saying about that um on the dick or for the dick challenge. Yes, yeah. when I used to do skits, they used to be seven seconds. It used to take me two hours to, to like do seven seconds, bro, or make uh you know do little clips when I used to do skits. That shit ain't easy. That shit will drain you the fuck out, especially if you're the only one that's actually doing it. Yeah, you have to be the camera. You got the cameraman, the talent, the fucking other person in the motherfucking video. So I know how. Oh you yeah, feel. cause I. I used to do what are those those little clips, that little voiceover clip thingies all the time. Those mm-hmm. little videos and thriller videos. I used to do them hoes all the time when I worked at the hotel. Mm-hmm. So I get it, bitch. Like, uh, no. But I'm glad we had some good weeks. I'm glad I had a perfect week. Woo! Nothing, uh, Woo! I did. I mean, yeah, I did have. I, I, yeah, my week was good, bro. This 2019. If y'all sleeping it's on y'all be, talent, yeah, y'all need to stop sleeping on y'all motherfucking talent, bitch. Ain't no excuse, ho, because we. I don't know what everybody else got planned. We got a whole bunch of shit planned. So yeah. we're going to really be coming every week on this hoe until we get our following up. And the motherfucker. Something like this, go ahead and do that shit. Don't sleep don't on your scared. talent. Don't sleep really on your scared. motherfucking talent, bro. So. <laughs> it, it took it took Stucky to, to voice that she wanted to do a podcast yes. for me to be like, okay, Courtney, you can do it because I, I have dabbled in journalism and radio and broadcasting Mm -hmm. and it's things like that i those are the type of talents that i hide instead of embracing Mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying so i'm Mm -hmm. glad that we started this podcast i'm glad that we are consistent because girl it's hard to it's hard to like show people that you creative or like create something they be like especially people that know you they're gonna be like when'd you start doing this yeah she thinks she funny you think you can do her? You oh, think I've you can blah, 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 blah? Like, you, they, I've been funny be and I've been people. fucking so good. <laughs> it's going to be uh. those type of people that cr- criticize you, but, bitch, just link up with a motherfucker that got the same drive and the same aspirations as you and stop sleeping on y'all motherfucking talent. But that's just my little message, you know? So so in 2019, we're going to stop sleeping on talent. We, we yes. got to. Like, it's, yes. it's no reason why y'all shouldn't be doing the best thing. If, if you're the best at sucking dick, 
Make you some d- dick sucking videos on YouTube to tutorials. Come on. <laughs> like, teach. It's people that want to know how to suck a good dick. Mm-hmm. So don't be scared of that type of talent. If it's something that. I'm trying to see, girl. No, no, <laughs> don't, don't. I'm trying to get the the post, child. Yes. Okay, so. Oh, it wasn't I, George Kapoy. That it. was George? No, they oh, was asking. Gonna... They talking about George. No, oh, no, 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 no. African George is my homie. That's my nigga. But the, the George that I broke up with. <laughs> I don't even think the nigga has a Facebook, so. <laughs> eh. Ooh, I love niggas that don't have social media. Be uh, ignorant to shit that I do. Yeah. Because I be pu- pulling stunts. But, what are we um, talking about today? We are going to talk about side chicks on holidays. Oh, my <laughs> God. And I had another topic, too. Yeah. Dang. Oh, yeah, sex phases that we all, like, went through. Like, what was your kink back then that you could not, um... <laughs> what was your kink back then that you could not go without? And now, have you outgrown it? What What is your kink right now? Like, I mentioned last episode that I used to like getting slapped in the face or uh, choked and shit like that. Um, so, we're going to start off with the side chicks. <laughs> okay. Um, and end on the kinkiness. <laughs> so, Lee, you want you want to chime in on this part or uh, you got something different for us? Oh, yeah. What's your sex sex? I need to stop saying that sick. Because I don't know what a sick I know, man. I don't know why. Y'all can just talk right now. Okay. I'm a little so distraught right now. I would like to say that for years I went through a phase of being a side hoe. I mean Ooh. choosing to be a side bitch. Mm-hmm. Like I didn't want to fuck with niggas that were not in I didn't want to fuck with single niggas. I just didn't. Like, I I had got a, to a point in my life where single niggas wasn't for me because they were asking for too much. You wanted too much of my time. You wanted too much pussy. You wanted too much, like, that daily conversation and shit. So I started fucking with niggas that had bitches. So <laughs> let me apologize and say if you were one of those bitches who... Don't take it personal. No, man, please. It was not I you. It was me. I was going through a very hard phase in my life, and it wasn't even hard. I just didn't want to be committed to nobody. So fucking committed niggas was easy, bro. I didn't want shit but pussy. So being a side hoe on the holidays, mm. I have very strict <laughs> rules with being a side hoe on the holidays. Ooh. Obviously, I know we're not going to spend the holidays together. I do not expect that. Mm-hmm. As a retired side hoe, I would say for the holidays, you have to have a distinct timeline of when you're going to see each other, how you're going to see each other, and when gifts are going to be exchanged. If you're if you're that invested mm-hmm. into being a side bitch. Like, it's, a, it's, it's side chicks, a bitch you fucking or something, but then you have whole side relationships. Mm-hmm. So when it comes to those side relationships, the day before or the day after, bitch, pick one. That's all you gonna get. You not getting a day of. If you do get a morning of holiday shit, be grateful. Can, be, be grateful. Be thankful. Be thankful because whoever his main is is either stupid as fuck, doing her or his own thing, or they're not present. And sometimes when I say they're not present, that means they might be on vacation, they might be out of the state, they might be with their other side of the family, things like mm-hmm. that. But don't, you don't expect to get a Merry hey, Christmas or a Happy Holidays, Happy New Year, the day of. Come, You're a side piece for a reason, mama. Sometimes the main bitch be knowing, and they just let them mug, uh... They just let that mug rock. Sometimes the main bitch be known in certain side situations, especially if the motherfucker's married. If, They'll just let that yeah, mug rock. Yeah, especially in, in married <laughs> Like, they, like yeah. they be knowing, my nigga. Like, they be like, oh, okay, that's cute. <laughs> but, I, I mean, I don't know. Being a side bitch on the holidays I ain't never hurt my feelings because I get to go to six different houses in one weekend. I can't see the And you're stuck with this one guy. <laughs> Bless your heart. <laughs> <laughs> My side hoe experience ain't like that. Like, motherfuckers be living double lives. When, <laughs> like, I was a side bitch once or like twice. Knowingly or unknowingly? First, I mean, it was it was knowingly. And both times? You could not tell. Like, that motherfucker, it was like he treated both of us like we was they, they, the Equal? main girl. No, he, she didn't know that. 
but I'm I already saying, knew. Yeah, equal. You, you like it like wasn't like it wasn't like the sick. Like oh, this is the the stepchild type shit. Like every time he used to go out of town, every time I used to go to like Dallas and shit like that, that nigga used to be on my ass texting. It wasn't like oh, I got sloppy seconds or some shit like that. <laughs> if anything, he like did interchangeable. So you weren't a side chick. You had a whole side relationship. It really wasn't a relationship neither. Was he I mean, like he your tried boyfriend? to make it. No, he tried to make it into a relationship, and I had to like kind of push him back but it really wasn't no like sloppy seconds like if anything he used to try to give me the dick before her or used to try to like give me stuff before her depending on that's weird that's- see i don't i don't like that type of attention if you're in a relationship don't treat me better than your girlfriend like that's weird as fuck mm-hmm. to me he could like got, juggle it it got to a point where when i was a side chick in college everybody knows about that fucking situation um we were more like the girlfriend and boyfriend, and she was the side chick. Like, because we... Wait, we more... just... Never mind. We already talked about her. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, hey, Taylor. It I mean, it's... Mm, I, be, I feel like nowadays, side hoes expect way too much. Like, back in the day, they a nigga be could known. literally have one bitch on one corner of the street and his wife on the other corner of the street. And they would never know. And they would never know. And if they did know, they would not come into cahoots with each other. They wasn't beefing with each other because they knew they nigga was going to get on both of their asses. So I respect relationships in the aspect of I'm not looking for nothing more than sex out of this side relationship. That's why I'm fucking you because I know I'm on the side. I want to be the motherfucking macaroni and cheese. Not Just like when Olivia Pope potatoes. actually got, <laughs> like when <laughs> Olivia Pope actually got the president, she like, uh, this is what you have to deal with, Millie. <laughs> like she didn't really want the whole Nobody wants baked that. potato. She wanted to. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. A lot of people don't like, that's why niggas, be, niggas be thinking because I am so affectionate. I like to cuddle. I like to that you really go on dates that I really want them. No, that's me. That's what I like mm-hmm. to do. If that's not something you want to do, then we don't have to do that. But I like dating. I like going out on dates. Just because I'm going out with you does not mean that I want to be your girlfriend. Yeah, I true. don't want to be in a relationship with every nigga that I'm dating. Yeah. I don't want to be in a relationship with every nigga that I'm Fuck. And what you saying that, that's what used to happen to me. Like, this is the situations that I used to be in. People see my social media, they think I'm like, oh, she hoeing, oh, yeah, she a freak freak, so I'm just going to treat her as a freak freak and only fuck her and just leave her alone. So, like, once a nigga actually get to know me, uh-uh. Give her your cup. Once a nigga actually get to know me and they actually see how I move and they actually see like, damn, Morgan low-key dope. This bitch funny. She got money. She go to work. She mind her business. She like like low-key so serene and she got some good pussy. Uh, okay, I thought that she was going to be my side, but I'm trying to like Man merge up. over there. Yeah. So that's why I was like, when I was a side bitch, it's like... It was like they wanted me to be more than a side bitch after they got to know me. I totally me. get that. I, <laughs> I definitely had a man leave his wife. Sorry, Coco. Who is Coco? The wife. <laughs> um, yeah. Oh, my gosh. This yeah. is, we are bitch. not doing this yeah. today. I ain't, I ain't no feel to today, bitch, because oh I ain't like Coco. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. What was her real name? I ain't gonna say her real name because her real name is. Don't let Morgan bait you. I mean, I'm not going to her bait me like that. <laughs> but Coco do? know who she is. What, what I'm do? saying is, Coco oh, husband okay. left her <laughs> thinking he was gonna be with me because we were having a nice little uh, side relationship. We just spilling tea today. Now, Coco, I told you once. I told you twice. I don't want to tell you thrice. I did not want your husband. I didn't want your husband then. I don't want your husband now. He had okay penis. It was good the couple of times that we did fuck. But I didn't tell him to leave his marriage for me. Yes, that nigga still calls me. Yes, we still text. But What y'all be calling and texting about? We not drinking Stella Rosa before the stuff start no more. Grab, hold me up, bitch, because I'm spilling tea. This is where the camera is. It's on the what? It's two cameras. Wait, hold on, y'all. Just hold on because this ain't going to take that long. Anyways, <laughs> I don't give a fuck about spilling tea because that bitch tortured me, bro. She thought I was really intentionally trying to ruin her fucking marriage. I don't want your husband. How old was y'all? I wanted from him. I got from him. It was How the old bitch. were they? How First old of all, I've been knowing okay. her husband since middle school. 
Oh, yeah. Then we saw each other as adults. Bro, not... you're not talking about who I... Yes. <laughs> Fucking crazy man. Anyways, next... So... segue. I'm a, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a segue out of that thing because I had another situation where a man told me that he wanted me to be his girlfriend while he had a wife. I'm like, nigga, no. that is a lot of pressure. That Niggas is a lot to take on. Like, I don't, I don't, y'all don't know how stressful it is for side bitches. That's why side bitches <laughs> deserve to get money, bro. We gotta hide, hide our relationships. <sighs> With the niggas we fucking, we can't post this nigga when we go out with this nigga. I don't post can't. anyways. That's, I think that's why I actually kind of fell into it. Because I don't post niggas anyways if I'm a main or a side. So. Oh, I post them. You just ain't going to know I'm fucking them. Oh, damn. But um, I, I mean, it's, it's hard being a side bitch. And, and motherfuckers act like we ain't got no job to do. No, I got to keep secrets. I got to I gotta know where this nigga at. I got to know where she at. To make sure I ain't getting caught with this nigga. I, it's a lot. That's why I had to let that life go. I'm enjo- enjoying the single life way better. And I have only messed with single niggas so far. I'm, I mean, Could, I don't really care. Sh- shit be. Kudos to you, For girl. me, like, I posted this earlier on my Facebook. If you went to Duncanville High School and you married and that bitch didn't go to Duncanville High School, they don't be knowing what the fuck we be going. Like, what the fuck really be going on. Like, they be, like, green to the shit. Like, <laughs> because everybody from Duncanville still be trying to, like, side other people that went to Duncanville High School. Everybody be in people inboxes. Everybody be in people DMs. And, like, what you saying that you went to Duncanville. middle school with him, Duncanville everybody be in everybody's hey, DMs. Stay out my DMs. I don't so, like, if you, girl, if you are outcast and you don't really know what the fuck you really got into and you married a nigga that's, like, in three of my friends' DMs, like you just you don't know the plot. Like Let me old see. girl is fucking him. Like and don't give a fuck. <laughs> like I think the only only nigga from Duncanville right now that I, that can get some pussy from me, if I had to put a name or a face to it on the spot, it'll be Jonathan Craig. Who is oh what? Jonathan Craig can definitely get some pussy from me. Who girl, is... everybody want to give him some. That's child. that short boy that went to uh that be with what you gonna call it? I'm finna show him to you because I know who Jonathan Craig his, is. Everybody wants everybody give him like some. him. He no, he's really handsome. Everybody I think like I would him. Get, that's that's the only nigga from Duckville I'll probably get some pussy to. I think I'm taller than him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah he's not. A tall one. <laughs> but like, yeah, if you, if you don't ugly. know the plot, it's a, just funny to he's me. He's a nice looking guy, but he, he just is don't, a very nice he don't looking do guy. It for me. I'm taller than him. Y'all don't, <laughs> and I don't think people. Y'all the same. Uh, you got We got a caller. Are you serious? Okay. Okay. Who is Let this? It's probably Coco. It probably is. <laughs> the bitch is crazy. Hello. No, no, I'm not Coco. Oh, oh I hear him. <laughs> You supposed of course to. you hear me. No, I'm on the I phone. hear him on the outside. <laughs> Who's this? Huh? I was listening to your show about, you say y'all are ex side women. We're what, what side women? Ex. Ex side hoes, yes. I, I, um, no, not really me. <laughs> I just played I, that I'm part. Retired. Once before. Not me either. But I'm, she I'm was done. really like a side bitch. I really wasn't. <laughs> well, so explain, so explain, who am I speaking with? Who who is the pretty person with the red hair, then the middle person, and the high yellow? Each name, please. High yellow me. I mean, me. Stucky? That's Stucky. No, that's not you. <laughs> Stucky, Stucky is the end. one with the pink hair, mm-hmm. and she's the yellow one. I'm Solo yellow, too. Is the dark oh. skin one. Oh, shit. Okay, so <laughs> Stucky is the yellow one with the short hair. And Tula okay. is the yellow one with the fat mm-hmm. ass and the long hair. And Ooh. Solo is the little bitty black one with the good. And no butt. <laughs> I, I got a good too. I'm so, working on my good so in 2019. So I'm working on a doctor. Fuck that shit. I work on my good first. This question is for the one in the middle, the chocolate one. Who me? That's me. What's 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 the deal? Yeah. Pimpy. Now you you said um I thought I heard you say um the bitch was crazy because she wasn't trying to fuck up her marriage. Didn't you say that? Yeah. She thought I was trying you, to step in and take her husband. If you fucking her husband and she married, what do you think you're trying to do? What do you what what the perception is supposed to be? No, 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 no. I didn't want to be with him. But you was fucking him. I was him? fucking him. How long did you fuck him? A couple of months. 
It wasn't nothing crucial. I just fucked him for a couple of months. Like I just wanted to see what the dick was like. I had was a, I had a crush on him in middle school, and oh, I thought okay, maybe. Okay. So it was somebody you knew. It was somebody I knew. Most definitely, it was somebody I knew. <laughs> it was somebody so I knew, but I didn't know he. What's the, we hadn't seen each other since we were kids. We were oh, in was, middle school. So was we the sex met, worth it? Was and I didn't see him again until I was over the age of twenty. Was the dick worth it? Was the dick worth it? Um, yeah. absolutely not. For him to still be on my line, no. It was not. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, and now, what about Pooba? Now, now you say you really wasn't, but you was playing. What you was doing? I was what? What'd you say? Who is Poop? You Pooba? No, I'm um. Tula I, is, I'm I'm Stucky. <laughs> Tula is the light skin with the long hair and the big booty. I'm Stucky. Okay, Chuck. Are you Chucky? No, Stucky. You say Stucky. Stucky, what was your position? What was what question for what? What was your position? Oh, my position for it? So, like, I didn't really have no position. It was like, he really convinced me to fuck with him. And then when we actually fucked with each other, we actually had, like, a good chemistry with each other. So he was kind of like... It's like, I put this on my Facebook a long time ago. It's like, when you in between relationships, like, you don't know if you're going to pick your main or if you're going to pick your... Yo, favorite. I don't know. And I'm like the Ben Simmons. They don't know. I'm upcoming. <laughs> but they think that I'm more like <laughs> Derek. Derek. Not, they think I'm like Derek Rose out the game. Rose, like, okay, yeah, yeah okay. like, okay, she 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 fire, but it's just like, okay, she ain't gonna really be no asset to the team. More like a Carmelo Anthony. No, nigga, I'm Ben Simmons. So like when I actually get in predicaments like that, it's like, okay, damn, I got three people. I got my MJ, I got my Michael Jordan that I really, 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 really rock with and fuck with. I got my LeBron James that's hot right now. Mm-hmm. But I got my new thing that's coming up, Ben Simmons. So it's just like when stuff actually happened like that, that's where I was saying. It was like I was a side bitch, but then I kind of got upgraded. <laughs> so... Because these niggas see potential. They be yes. acting like bitches are the only ones looking for potential. Niggas is out here seeing potential, too. Mm-hmm. They say they see bitches that's grinding. Mm-hmm. They see bitches that's on their shit. Mm-hmm. They see bitches see, don't really the, fuck with thing, niggas to be mm-hmm. fucking about with the, them for benefit. The thing about the potential we look for is different than what you think, though. What'd you say? I mean, you thought potentials that we're looking for is totally different than what she's saying. I mean, you talking about a nothing-ass nigga or... Mm-hmm. A, uh, 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 nigga that's gonna try to hustle all his life or something. He looking for a bra with 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 with, with what he can benefit off of. Yeah, most definitely. Them type of, them type of niggas look for what they can benefit. Um, other guys, I mean, more I guess more establishing the mind type guys. They look for something they can build. So let me debunk that myth. It's corporate men, <laughs> professional men. Million dollar niggas that want a stupid bitch. A you bitch right. that does not have her own. A bitch that cannot stand up on her own two feet. A bitch that is not established. A bitch that could not boil a fucking pot of water. Some, those those women are being checked for as well. That's for control though. I mean, let, me, let me explain this to you. And I, I try to explain this to all my homegirls. When you get that nigga that got everything or think he got everything or whatever... And that's that nigga that's telling you, baby, you ain't got to go to work. Baby, I got this for you. Baby, I got that for you. And y'all be so blown away. Ah, shit, bitch. My nigga say I ain't got to work. He give me money. That's only for control. Because when you fuck up, guess what? Just like a child. Man, let me get all that shit. So none of that shit belong to you. But that's, what I, was, that's what I was saying earlier. I'm saying that people okay. actually, like, when they, when they try to put me in that side bitch role, they actually get to know me like, oh, this bitch, like, cool. She work. She own and She don't really give a fuck. Like, a lot of people, a lot of men like it when, I mean, a lot of men that I attract, it depends on what type of nigga. Yeah. We, all niggas the are the man. same, but they different at the same time. And we millennials. So I fuck with, like, I don't know. I fuck with different type of men. I don't just fuck with hood niggas. I fuck with geeky black boys. I fuck, I fuck with every type of man. So it yeah. depends on what type of nigga. And the thing is, <laughs> on my, like, Snapchat, I can get into somebody's psyche where it's just like, damn, Morgan got me. I'm with whatever she with. Like, I can get into somebody's psyche real quick. So it's like, I can only, I can actually vibe out when a nigga got they, they mind made up on me. Like, oh yeah, she just gonna be there. Oh yeah, she just gonna be there. Prime so, example, prime example. I got a nigga that I'm fucking right now. And he told me he just want, he wants to have a friendship outside of being booty buddies. Not gonna happen. 
He want he 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 want a home girl. He want a home girl that he can fuck. I'm a I am a way aggressive, a more aggressive friend than I am booty buddy. So I don't want to put that type of pressure on him. Like, oh, if you my friend, when I call you, you got to answer now. <laughs> like when I text you, you have to. I do that to my loved ones, to That's my real. friends, you know, to That's people real. that I care about. So if 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 a nigga ain't really ready for that. I know how to protect myself, and I know how to protect the, the niggas that I'm dealing with. If I see a nigga getting too close or feeling like he can't handle me being a side bitch, he want to elevate that to me being a girlfriend number two, or uh, he want a relationship, he don't want me fucking with nobody else. When it gets to a point where he was like, I don't want you to fuck with nobody else, I want you to be the only bitch I'm fucking with. And we fuck with two different type of niggas. <laughs> we fuck with different type of niggas. Yeah. I'm a different female than she is. So, like, what a side okay. bitch is to her is not what a side bitch is to me. Nine times out of the ten, I'm getting recruited. <laughs> like, I'm getting recruited. Like, I don't actually stay in my place. I'm verse. I can be a main bitch. I can be a side bitch. I can be a fuck buddy. Like, motherfuckers be like, okay, I can actually play her in every position. So, we not the same female. I can play different <laughs> positions with different niggas. I'm not finna be six different bitches with one nigga. I'm not. I'm not finna be well, I mean, start off as a side bitch, then go to your pain, then go to your wife, then go to your... Nah. And see me, I can, I can do that. So, it's just like different... We fuck with different type of niggas. Her niggas is probably not the niggas that I fuck with. <laughs> well, what about... What, so, what about... So look, have you um, ever been in a side bitch the big booty. situation? Have you ever been a side bitch? Uh huh. Yeah. Knowingly and unknowingly. Yeah, everybody yeah. been in a situation. Everybody done played this part. Yeah. <laughs> they just scared to say they played I mean, the part. So yeah, everybody, about? everybody done played the side played bitch, whether you part. know it or not. Everybody has. <laughs> so, but knowingly, yeah, it was cool for like a little minute or whatever. But but he wanted more, right? Um, no, cause y'all know me, I nonchalant. I just don't give no fucks. Yeah, like I'll just quit talking to you yeah, out of the blue one day. Position, I'm dog. saying, but did he ever make That's it to where it was it was it was uncomfortable for you as for being his bitch? Like, okay, I'm I'm good on fucking you now, like, cause you. You're it getting, was. You're doing too much. Uh, yeah, it was because he when because we was both each other sides. Okay, for like a little minute, and then when I broke up with my main and he didn't have one, he thought that I was gonna make him. It's a lot of gray with millennials. My, it my ain't man. black and white. Like that's what people don't so understand. Me, I mean, Older people don't understand that. <laughs> but what, I mean, like this, like honest jokes aside, um, all jokes aside, like. What I always hear women and, 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 and dudes talk about side chicks, right? It's always funny to me, like, because, like, I ain't never had no side bitch, no side chick, no side hoe, none of that. I mean, what's the benefits? That's my thing. Like, I don't be understanding. Like, niggas brag about it. Different but pussy. Niggas... It's just different. It's different That's pussy. It. Like, ain't nothing, ain't, no be ain't, ain't, ain't nothing better, better than new pussy. pussy. <laughs> ain't nothing better than <laughs> pussy than new pussy. <laughs> yeah. It's new pussy. pussy it's a different good. shoe. Pussy is good. Pussy is you great. Want the bread. But new pussy is better. You I'll, want the bread. New you pussy the... is always going to be, it's going to be pussy, good pussy, New, new pussy. Because it's the it's the intrigue, like, damn, I want to see what she feel like. It could be trash once you actually feel it. It yeah. could be but trash when you okay. get it. A lot of times it is. <laughs> it's just new. People, niggas work too hard. I work too hard to to limit my nigga to a certain <laughs> shit. I just feel I like that. I don't no, know. You, so, you pay so your bills on time. That, you can, like, talking. get them side bitch on the side. Why don't you do that? If it ain't, if it work for you, it work for you. If it don't work for you, don't work for you. I mean, but that's what I'm saying. I don't understand. So I, I mean, that's just like you said. That's too many problems. But I mean, nigga, you got to divide your money. You got to, why not just get a bra, get a female? You understand? Mm -hmm. That go come on in with you and your girl. Why you got to sneak? Why you? I don't do all that. See that sneaking shit? That's too much money being wasted. Mm -hmm. You got to duck and dodge. Fuck all that. That's it, what it, it, you got to sit do. down with me and mine. And I'm about to say, some people, some people get bored. Some people get bored. What is that called? <laughs> polyamory? Yeah, polyamory. I, I would do a poly relationship way before I go back to the Yeah, it's like beat. with a lot of, with a, a lot of women, you don't got to sneak with us a yeah. lot of times. Just tell us what it is up front. Like, that's all we want to know. We just want to have a choice. Right. Yep. That's it. Give right. me the option. Yes, give me an option. My, if my nigga came home and told me, baby, I went out with the boys tonight. I was at the bar. It was this bitch I was vibing with. 
She cool. She look good. I got her number. I want to fuck her. I, the first thing I'm going to say is, oh, really, nigga? You get numbers at the bar? Let me see the bitch. Let's see if we can break it home. I'm not going to be mad. A, a nigga might think that I'm mad because the first thing I say is, oh, really? Mm-hmm. But that's just because I'm intrigued, nigga. Let like, me let me see. see what you picking let outside me of me. Yeah, like, because I, I like to see men's. Type. Type. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I like to see what men are attracted to. Because usually the men that I deal with, when I go out with them and scout for other bitches, they are the exact opposite, opposite. of what I look like. And I can't really speak for other men. I can just only speak for For me. the ones that so I deal with. with me, people get bored easily. And it's not, like I said, it's not black and white. So we, the type of woman that I am and the type of women that I actually hang around, we in our 20s, we actually ask people questions. We actually open up the area of, come on, let's have a threesome. Or would you fuck around with this person? Or, oh, yeah, I had a side. Like, we're very more open with our uh, relationships than people before us, I feel like. Because certain stuff wasn't talked about. Side bitches wasn't talked about. Uh, you getting cheated on your nigga wasn't talked about. Because girls people, fucking girls people, yeah, wasn't, wasn't talked, talked about. about. So, like, now we, like... We some freak bitches too. Or your mama really was a freak bitch on the side, but she couldn't talk about it because of the, you know, the situation and the year it was. That's so it's just that's like we have the openness to talk about it now. And that's how we actually kind of know certain situations. And we was, you know, in different situations yeah. <laughs> that really didn't harm us. It was just like, mm, okay. Okay, that's that what was the situation. Like, yeah. And we just grew out of it. So that's, we that's are why. three completely different sides. Hell yeah. I can see that now. <laughs> we, uh, yeah. Like, we fuck with different types of are niggas. The, you are definitely the verse yeah i am i would say the aggressive and she's the and tula's the nonchalant i don't give no fuck. tula is the uh, i'm good on you yeah i'm good in, yeah, I'm, I'm good like, to I enjoy it's crazy but I, I mean would you do it again Stuck. Yeah, with the right nigga. I don't know, like I, I mean, you just don't go gunning. Yeah, well, you don't I don't go gunning, gunning for it. You just you no. I, I told you I had a phase in life where yeah, that's what I'm saying. Well, that I, I wanted. Didn't, I didn't go gunning for it, but I think I don't know. Just, I'm too intelligent. You gotta be the right. I'm too intelligent to be like I'm never gonna do A, B, and C. Like yeah. you're gonna contradict yourself once you actually learn more shit. Yeah, and once like, you put in the situation, yeah, like I can't for really the longest like, time, you thought that you would never suck a dick. Me. Oh, oh yeah. Uh, and then that's like the first thing that you go to before you open your legs. It's like, no, I don't want to give you this. I, I never thought that I would that? be giving head you like that. What'd you say? Y'all actually thought, y'all, I mean, like, y'all thought y'all would never do that? Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Like, in high school, you couldn't tell me I was sucking dick. First of all, this beautiful black girl that you see in front of you right now. It was Shane. Had braces and. Me too. I was really afraid. You got shame for sucking dick. You got shame dick. for eating pussy. You got shame for giving head. Lil and Wayne made you know, it cool no, no, to no, no, give no, head, bro. You know who made it cool to give head in Dallas, though? Shout out to my motherfucking niggas. Pussy eating click. Oh that was all in oh. every Friday. Oh. I had to turn that bitch up and made niggas but start yeah. eating pussy. No, Lil Wayne made it cool for my oh, niggas God. in the grade to start eating pussy. Like, you, like you sucking dick? Like, what? What you say? What you got to say? Y'all changed the whole topic. We talked about eating dick. <laughs> what? What? What you say? What you say? About a dick? He said, how did you change the topic? You was talking about something else, and you just seemed like, he said, seemed like you just went all in when it started talking about the female side. He was saying he was enjoying trying to get into oh, a conversation Oh, like, are you asking, do I have a preference between giving head? Like, which one, like, which one do I like to do better? Yes. Okay, so, yes, I have a preference. I just started eating pussy. I like it a lot, but I'm much rather <laughs> suck a dick. He's so stupid, man. Much do you rather like suck it? a dick. Dude, hold on, let me ask you. Pussy you is like a lot. Pussy day. is internal. Like, you got to, that's, that's a lot of trust. Have, did you, how long have you been doing that? Have I been eating pussy? Yeah. Um, about 16 hours. No, about just like, <laughs> I did about 16 hours ago. <laughs> but, um, uh, about four, I want to say four years. No, three years. Three years ago. Are you good at it? Am I good at eating pussy? 
after yeah. bitches. I mean, I think I'm huh? trash at eating pussy. <laughs> um, and it depends on if I'm getting filmed. I like getting filmed when I'm getting when I'm giving head to a dick. But if you're getting filmed when you eat pussy, you look trash. <laughs> oh my God. Like, oh, you just look trash, bro. So you be trying to think in your head, like, what do I hate that niggas do? Let me do the opposite. I know that's what I be thinking when I'm giving head to a female. Yes, and I know what I hate. Oh, and I don't like hair. I don't. I like, like hair. I like hair like a motherfucker. I like me some hair. I like bald. I like hair. Oh, okay. So I know this is off subject. I don't have no purpose. I'm sorry. I'm about to throw this off subject. Okay. This or that. Oh, girl. Oh, my God, y'all. This or that. This or that. I'm this or that. So all of a sudden, you want to eat your nigga ass. Uh huh. Would you be most? Would you be mad if his ass was hairy in the inside or if it was waxed? I don't care. I don't have no. I would be in. more offended if it was waxed. Wax. Like nigga, why did you say we could go get our booties waxed together? No, no, no. Like who you get his ass waxed for? Who you get your booty waxed hold on, hold for, on. nigga? Excuse like who is in here? Who needs to see? Excuse because me. okay, so I, I, like I said, I have a problem with hair. So I don't. Me. Somebody me. I was involved with had a hairy ass, and I did. I wouldn't eat Excuse ass. Me. I wouldn't eat nigga ass. So I, wait, hold me. up. Never mind. Excuse let me. Okay, me. let me finish. Excuse me. He had a Excuse hairy me. ass. Excuse me. Excuse oh, my, my, my Excuse bad. me. My bad. What you say? Wait, I don't eat. I don't say, eat niggas ass. Did you, did, did you just say <laughs> you and him can go get y'all ass waxed together? I'm, let me tell you, if I found out that oh. my nigga had a waxed asshole, I'm leaving that nigga that day. Like, oh yeah, we're definitely your friend zone now. Like, but mm -mm. that's and not okay. I'm, I'm not even gonna what? say that because that's, that's real judgy, and I don't judge. That's not me judgy, that. but oh, I'm just trying to no. Wait, you been I keeping leaving. secrets. I, I, I like bisexual niggas too. So if he if he got his ass waxed, I would be more offended that he didn't tell me. I don't really. I, me, we I don't are really three care. totally different that's people. Saying, I don't really care about. <laughs> About hair or no hair, it just has to smell the same when it's bald and when it's hair. So it, it like hair don't but it have doesn't. no. Yes, it do. Hair has a smell. No, it all depends on what type of. If it's like a, a whole 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 bunch of hair, if it's like I don't know how to explain it. I'm like, like a fade or a bush, bro. Like a, a fade, fade or a bush. Like it don't like I don't know what bitches y'all be eating or what niggas y'all be sucking. It don't smell. Hair don't huh? smell. It's like everybody had their own little uh, smell to them, like pussies. Uh, everybody, everybody got their own little smell. But it don't smell with hair on it. I feel like <laughs> your scent intensifies, even if it is just your regular scent. It intensifies when it's hair. Like when there's hair under your arms, I feel like people are more busty with hair under their but, arms than when they shave. But you're, but it depends on how much hair you have. If you have True, uh, right. I if you it. have like a whole bunch of hair, uh, it depends. Like you're talking about baby bald. Like five year old bald. Like, are you talking about baby bald? But you know, hair in different spots is for different things. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm yeah. Saying. yeah, 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 yeah. It yeah. don't be like a whole, whole bunch of hair. It, I don't know how to explain it because it's not no, a fake. It's not like it be a, like. I just don't like. I don't. This much hair, nigga. We can get this much hair. <laughs> I can lick a pussy. Oh, that's too this, much. That's too much with hair. This that's, much that's hair. too much hair. I'm talking that's about on the side, on the face. No, that's oh, fine. That's, 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 that's fine. That's fine. Like that's you don't great. have to be bothered about, about your me. waves. I'm like, no, bro, no. if I get a pussy with the waves, about this. bro, I don't I, want it. Ooh, I seen a Spanish bitch with a, uh, a wavy her, her pussy. I said, ooh, bitch, I seen an Asian girl and she, her stuff was covered like a curtain over her pussy. That's it how was long like a, it was, long and straight. Mm hmm long and straight. And it was like was it a pretty? curtain. Brush your pussy it was hair? at um <laughs> Spy Castle. It was pretty. I mean, she ain't had no ingrown hairs because you know that hair goes straight. So I yeah. guess it was like, oh, that's yes. different. Yes. Y'all haven't seen yeah. no bitches with some cute pussies with some hair on it. I don't know. I don't care about hair. I get the landing strip. Assholes or pussy. But I'm different. <laughs> like, I'm kind of like free spirited more. Because you can, I like them. Bald headed, hairy. And some niggas actually ask me to grow my hair to eat my some pussy. Niggas, some niggas do ask to <laughs> like, grow Like, I like hair. hairy pussy. Can you grow your hair? So it's like, uh, yeah. Don't I have do to not. tell me twice. Mm. I, I'm not with the hair. Like I said, I had somebody I was dealing with, and we were showering together, and I found out that his booty was, like, extremely Wolverine hairy. And I didn't want to look at it. So I asked him, could I shave his ass? 
Like his cheeks? Yeah, like the cheeks. Did you get in the, the inside? top of the crack a little my, bit? Oh, okay. My ex-boyfriend didn't have hairy. I mean. Some people really are hairy, bro. Yeah. Like, I'm hairy. He didn't push it. That nigga uh, was hairy, and I wanted the hair gone, so I wanted to shave him, and I shaved him. So, anyway, I have Christmas plans? Oh. <laughs> we were talking <laughs> about Christmas plans today. Oh. Um, with me, I know this is kind of off subject. Um, if y'all have problems with y'all family, or y'all family like annoys y'all, these are some tips. And that it's not I, like all the family. Not all of your it's family because ones. it's just certain ones. These are some tips that you can actually, you know, go by. Um, I have to tell my uh, myself that when my family asks me stupid ass questions or like nosy questions, that they're literally just trying to either make conversation with me or they care, or they actually care about me. You know, black fa- any any family, white, Spanish. Families are kind of overbearing. They're trying to know who who's your insurance company, what, what job you, you work at, what job? why you work what there, position? how much you Can make. You move they up? ask inappropriate questions in group settings. <laughs> so uh, just I just have hey, to breathe. <laughs> I just have to breathe when they when they ask me questions and just answer yeah. the question, Morgan. And just like don't my Amy put asked nothing. me to twerk, teach yeah. you how to twerk. Don't don't put don't See, think nothing that's, past that's it. That's more fun though. That's a better question than not when she's eighty. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll be like, ain't it? No. Well, she's not eighty. She's more like seventy, but still, no. Yeah. Ugh. So I um, just those are my tips. Just answer the question. Don't think nothing of it. Don't think somebody's attacking you. Don't think that you're being integrated. Because that's how I used to feel. I used to be like very defensive. Like, oh, why? Like, I already answered this. You ask me this every time you see me on every family event. Who is this or who is that? Or da, 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 da. Just answer the question in a calm way. And also, don't be too detailed because you're going to dig yourself in a rabbit hole that you can't get out of. Right. <laughs> like, what you doing? Or where you at? Da, da, da. Can, you, can I get a discount for this? Just answer the questions and just keep it pushing be be nice let me what's your plan uh okay so my uncle which is my granny's only son passed away in march my granny usually does a huge christmas brunch i thought we were not gonna have the christmas brunch this year Mm. because my uncle had passed away and she usually does it to bait him in get him off the streets so he can at least come and rest for a day and eat you know what i'm saying so since he's gone, I didn't think we were going to have the brunch, but she called me yesterday. This, literally, this is what my granny said. Hey, motherfucker. <laughs> I said, yes, ma'am. Your black ass coming to my house in the morning? I said, ma'am, did you need something? You needed me to clean up or something? I'm having uh, the brunch, little bitch. Okay, yes, <laughs> granny, I'll be there. I'll be there, granny. Your granny talked to you like that? Oh, yeah. My, yeah. <gasps> Yeah. See, our family, our family don't cuss. Our okay, family don't really but cuss y'all like have a real life, regular hood family. My family is the epitome <laughs> of boo jetto. Morgan, My, our family do cuss. I'm, you talking about? You talking, I'm talking about not. Oh yeah, not our, our aunties and our uncles don't ever just cuss at us like that, like nigga or say nigga like Them that. Them other ones do. Them though. other ones do. Yeah. It's just like the cousins do. Yeah, the cousins, cousins do. do. I'm saying like our elders, motherfucker, like. My mom and her grand, her, her uh, sisters and brothers, they don't talk to me like that. At least. So I don't want y'all to get it misconstrued because a lot of people think because I'm solo and this is my attitude and I'm so outspoken and I'm a little ratchet and I get a little ghetto and shit like that, that, that my family is that way. They are the exact opposite. People when think you my go to my house, proper. you feel, I, I swear to God, you're going to feel like you walked in on some Huxtables type shit. See, I like that's dealing not with like, my family. That's not like our family. I like y'all, y'all think, family way better. Y'all think that we come from this like Creole looking family because we light skin. No, that's, y'all think that's that the only light ones. That's what I'm saying. Y'all think that we come from <laughs> this because Brandy. we went to Duncanville High School. Y'all think that we come from this DeSoto. We about to be in a two-story house. Ha- no, nigga. We're Straight going to Oak shit. Cliff. <laughs> like, deep Oak Cliff to go uh, to our family. And so. I'd be on, Tula, I'd be on the, the block. First, Tula was the first person to teach me about high heels. I ain't know nothing about that hood. Good haven. Apartments. I ain't know nothing about that hood. Oh, that pizza house is about to be open. But yeah, a lot <gasps> of people... Open it back up? Yes. I'm but excited. a lot of people think that me and... Ma- I, I, I'm flattered that y'all think that we suburbans, but I'm flattered because I, that means I'm doing something right. <laughs> but we not. I bet I had, and a lot of people you. think I'm think I'm more hood and more ghetto. Like when you come to my house, you think it's gonna be Domino's, Hennessy, uh, niggas cussing, smoking blunts. It's none of that. Jazz music, hors d'oeuvres, um, formal outfits, gift and exchanges. Pinnacle. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Bro, we're playing chest and shit. I be in that hole like this. 
What a liquor. <laughs> Can I please get a shot? We like, always I, got I, Me and my uncle were the unicorns of our we family. Do. Like, we were the God turn up at every party. I'm about to say, people be seeing the turn up at our stuff when I be posting up Man, on Instagram. Like, I miss going out with our family. And I got a, I got a twin cousin in our family. We having a brunch. When? Um, and seafood bowl. And a seafood bowl. Oh, invite me to the seafood bowl. Is it, is it, at, is it at your granny house? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's supposed kinda. to be all simultaneously all at the same time. I don't know how they the gonna do that. We don't know how this gonna we don't, work. We don't know. It's okay. gonna be fucked up on well, Christmas. <laughs> just ask your granny, can I come please? Because I really love her and miss her. And she used to let me side I mean, her. crab I'm legs on live, y'all. I'm gonna do a mukbang. <laughs> can don't. I do it too? Yeah, like okay. we're gonna be eating crab legs on live. <laughs> if they invite me, I'm gonna eat some crab legs. I'm trying to see But I'm gonna be embarrassed because I hate eating in front of people. I, Baby, I be up in them juice be dripping all down to my elbows. Y'all. That's why I don't eat crab legs and Okay, public. when one of them <laughs> niggas inbox y'all talking about can you send me a, a video of you eating some fucking <laughs> crab legs, you better charge them. Yeah, most definitely. You better charge them. I charge, them. They gonna come. I charge I niggas to talk dirty to them. I charge free. niggas to uh Don't do shit for free. I don't, yeah, do I don't, any do shit I don't even leave for free, bitch. <laughs> Pay me. Bless I you. Feel okay, so bad. To, uh, give me my money, please. I feel so bad that I didn't used to charge people for this shit that I used to do when I, I was feel younger. Horrible. You know what? That was one of the biggest investments I slept on ever in yes. my life was my pussy. Sexual favors. Not like, sexual favors. Pussy. All you of the having, love for me. Having a vagina, period. Being female. Email. Not using my pussy, not using my mouth, not sucking dick, not opening my legs, not getting fucked in the ass. Being a female, you should charge. Mm-hmm. Cause niggas are. I don't know what y'all been doing. 